Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's getting colder out there. We had an Arctic front move through the area this morning. That's what brought us all the rain. Now it's sagging just to our south and east. That's where the problem arises because it's not going anywhere. It's going to stall out in that general vicinity over the next two to three days. And we're going to be watching several waves of energy developing along that front. And that front will eventually steer them all in our direction. So wave number one is right now over the Gulf Coast states. That uh, doesn't look very impressive. A batch of showers streaming their way off to the north and east. The majority of that wave will probably stay just to our south and east, maybe scooting through southeastern Virginia northeastern North Carolina with a few more showers tonight. But it's the second wave of energy. This one a little more potent, a little more moisture to work with here uh, that we're going to be watching very closely as we get into Friday, Friday night, and even into Saturday. If the evolution goes well here, we could be seeing our first a wintry type storm of the season so far. So here's what's predicted right now or forecasted on the models to occur along that stationary boundary here through North Carolina. That wave of low pressure develops and moves off to the north and east there. It develops cold air is diving in from the north to meet it and we see a mixture of rain, sleet and snow developing over portions of central Virginia and through northeastern North Carolina, southeastern Virginia as well, kind of spelling a mess for us in certain areas, at least in portions of Hampton Roads. Now, there are several details that still have to be ironed out here, but right now this is looking like a likely scenario, especially since a lot of the models have been coming to more of a consensus over the past couple of runs here. I'm showing you something here. I know there's a lot of uh, details to look at. I'm also going to post this on my Facebook page so you can get a better look at it. But these are four computer models. Now we're into the time frame that we can tap into our more short range models. So we have the, the NAM, the NAM, which is an American model, and then the RPM. That's an in-house model that kind of goes off of the NAM. So they're kind of similar there. But I want you to notice something here that all four models, including the GFS and Euro, the longer range models, do show some sort of type of snow over at least portions of Hampton Roads as we get into that time frame in question late Friday into Saturday. The less so the outlier right now looking to be the GFS, which has most of the snow uh, going a little bit warmer scenario for us, pushing the colder air and snow off to the north and west. But then you have the European model here, which has been uh, the most intense, showing some snow totals here. I also want to point out that the European model, you look at that and say, wow, that's putting down a lot of snow. Probably not going to happen. This is an enhanced snowfall total. Uh, if this was to occur, all of the variables at perfection would have to occur. So this is like the best case scenario if all the variables were to line up. So pretty unlikely of that happening. Nonetheless, still painting a snowy uh, picture for portions of us. And then you have the NAM, similar to the Euro, but shifted off to the north and west, closer to central Virginia, probably more in line to what we would see with this type of uh, setup early in the year. And the RPM actually has that a little bit farther to the south and east there. So a lot of different model data to look at. Now they're all sort of painting the scenario of seeing cold enough air in place to bring in some of that wintry weather for us here during that time frame. Obviously, we still have time to go. Nothing is put in stone, but several things have to happen before we can get this whole pattern lined up here. The first of which you need the cold air. You just have to. Obviously, you need those temperatures down in the 30s around or sub freezing in a lot of spots. Now, it needs to be en route at the time the storm is starting to develop. And once it hits the coast and starts to deepen and develop into more of a coastal low, it starts to fetch colder air from the north and west and the winds kick in. So that usually happens. But if that doesn't occur in time, and the cold air doesn't meet up, could be dealing with just a cold rain here. So that still has to come into play. But there is another way for us to get the cold air in here. Depending on the precipitation intensity, if we get really heavy rain here and in turn heavy wet snowflakes falling aloft, something happens called evaporative cooling. And that in turn is a physical process that actually cools the air as that heavy precipitation falls. So that could bring us down into the lower to mid thirties, closer to that margin that we could get some of that frozen precipitation, making it all the way to the ground. And on top of that, you know, you might say, hey, you know, the ground is too warm for us to get any accumulating snows. First, I want to say this wouldn't be the first time it's ever snowed in December. In fact, four of the snowiest Decembers have happened in the beginning part of the month there. So it, it's possible. Also, what can happen here? We talked about the precipitation intensity. Well, if it was coming down at a fast enough rate, if it was to make it to snow all the way to the surface, it would overwhelm the warm ground and compensate for that and kind of uh, start to accumulate there. So if we were to get that intensity, uh, that's likely what would happen. So we've been talking about this all week. Uh, our percentage chance 
of seeing our first flakes of the season. There's always that excitement of the first chance of seeing some snow, especially in December, you know, right before the holidays looking good. Have up these chances a little bit. You'll notice you'll find the lowest chances the closer you get to the water. This time of the year, ocean temperatures much too warm to get really any frozen precipitation. We get that marine layer kind of uh, setting up close to the water there, keeping surface temperatures well above that freezing mark, really depending on the wind direction as well. So the farther away you get from the water and farther to the north and west, you'll see higher chances of seeing the wet snowflakes, sleet pellets mixing on in there, again, all dependent on the exact storm track. Now I've taken all that we've looked at, all the models I've just showed you and I've put together a very preliminary forecast for the possibility of seeing some snow totals here if all the variables line up. This is going to change and also being very conservative here. So the timing on it, as we've talked about Friday night through Saturday midday, depending on the whole evolution of this system, we'll watch it as it comes out of Texas and rides along that front, I've kept coastal areas mostly a cold rain there. Maybe getting a few wet snowflakes on the tail end, but probably not a big deal for you all. You head inland, maybe a slushy inch on the areas in white on mostly grassy elevated surfaces, your car hoods, your back decks, that sort of deal. And then you head a little bit farther in from that. That includes portions of the peninsula here. One to two slushy inches possible. And the farther inland you get, will be a little bit colder. Surface temperatures being a little bit chillier too. Could see maybe two, three inches locally a little bit more. So again, this isn't a blockbuster snow event for us, but certainly being the first snow of the year could be a pretty cool thing to see, especially on the uh, tree branches with all that wet, heavy snow kind of sticking to it. So this will likely change again. Very preliminary here. It is only Wednesday afternoon. This is likely 48 hours out from even starting. So we'll watch it closely for you here. But that's the latest. That's all you need to know right now in terms of that snow threat coming at us later this week. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon.